The nature of conflict has changed in Afghanistan uh, with the withdrawal of the international troops or the reduction of international troops. Uh, the way in which the conflict is being fought has changed quite a lot. There's far more ground fighting taking place, but also the conflict has spread to different parts of the country. So what we found is that uh, uh, in 2014, there were three administrative centers that had been overrun by uh, insurgent uh, groups, whereas uh, a, in the last year, uh, we've seen 23 administrative centers o overrun. So that gives you uh, some sense uh, that more districts are, are, are under threat. Uh, also, uh, because the fighting has changed, uh, uh, we've also seen a number of more casualties. There were sort of something like almost 8,500 uh, civilian deaths as a result of the fighting. Again, that's a sort of increase. We've seen a larger scale of displacement this year than in any previous year, with something like 200,000 people displaced uh, during the whole of the year. Uh, this is a massive movement of, of, of people. It takes two forms. Uh, we saw a rapid displacement of people uh, who moved out quickly into neighboring areas, but also came, came back uh, as soon as they could. But in rural areas, the district centers I talked about, there's a longer term flow, which is mixed up with the whole flow of urbanization. And those are the population that are putting an increasing burden on the bigger cities in Afghanistan uh, and will require longer term support, more than just the, the immediate support we give to rapidly returning uh, populations. Uh, they also, in the end, feed into what's called secondary displacement and feed into the migration patterns that are taking place in Europe and elsewhere. Uh, but I, I should add that a lot of the migration to Europe is primarily economic and fueled as much by the very low level of economic growth found in Afghanistan and the lack of job opportunities that exist there.